Okay guys, it's me once again. In this video, I want to show off and pick my top, you know, I'd say three or four movie-based games, or license-based games, rather. Okay, and this one, there's Batman Blackgate. Uh, really good Batman game. Uh, it's a Metroidvania style game. He goes into Arkham, takes down some bad guys. I won't spoil the game, but you can upgrade your suit, uh, get used to different gadgets, just like the console games. Uh, you can unlock different suits as well, which they actually have uh, when you unlock the suits, they actually have a uh, different status effects of the suits. So it's not like you're just using a different suit just to use a different suit, you know. Uh, fairly good game. Next up is Amazing Spider-Man. And if you want, this game is just like the Arkham games as far as the, it feels exactly like a like a Spider-Man version of an Arkham game. The combat is almost the same. You can web sling, it's open world, there's your main story, then you actually have your side missions. You can beat up uh, muggers, uh, chase after bad guys. You have a couple of boss fights that are really good. Uh, it picks up right after the first Amazing Spider-Man movie. And in this game, you can unlock suits as well, but you're just unlocking suits just to unlock suits. There's no uh, effects with them. Unlike this game, when you unlock a suit, you have different status effects with the suit. This one, you don't. You're just unlocking suits just to unlock suits. But, uh, good game. The frame rate takes a hit on some levels, but I had fun with it. Graphics are good, but, uh, if you can find this game, pick it up. If you have a Vita, it runs on the Vita, the PS Vita TV as well. So, if you want an open world superhero game, I recommend this. Uh, Attack on Titan. This didn't get a US physical release, so I imported it from Japan. I haven't played it, so I can't give, them, give any kind of impression on it. But uh, the anime is supposed to be really popular. I've never seen it. But uh, I'm going to download the US version and play that one of these days. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. But next up is. Uh, One Piece, Unlimited World Red. I didn't know anything about the characters when I bought this. And I still don't, aside from the game. But a uh, pretty good game. Uh, it's a little quirky. Really off-the-wall characters. The combat is really good. I like that. It's uh, not quite open world, but there's a lot of exploration in it. You can craft different stuff. And... Uh, when you go back to your hub world, you can actually upgrade your hub, your hub world, which I, I thought was pretty cool. Like I said, I don't know, know anything about the characters or anything. I've never seen a cartoon. I don't watch the anime or whatever, so. But uh, it's a fun game, though. Fun game. Uh, the Walking Dead series 1 and 2. Uh, they're working on part three for the iOS, but I seriously doubt the Vita will get part three. But uh, they're really good games. They're point and click type games that you might have played back in the '90s on your on your PC. Uh, really solid games. Sometimes some of the choices. Uh, don't really have an effect but sometimes they do uh, I think I liked 
this one better than this one only because they bring back a character in this one and I don't like the way he turned but they're both solid games I recommend them I've never seen a TV show never read the books the comics so I don't know how close it is to the to those but as far as the gameplay they're good games uh, Sword Art Online Lost Song and Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment I have the Vita version uh, I have the digital copy of Hollow Realization I haven't put too much time into it I gotta import the physical copy of it but uh, I've never seen the cartoons or whatever so I don't know how close it is to that but they're decent games uh, they're, they're an MMO type game the combat takes a bit getting used to especially in this one uh, but they're, they're, they're solid games now I'm gonna give my top picks and I have to go with Blackgate Amazing Spider-Man and Walking Dead Seasons 1 and 2 so out of all of my license based games for the Vita these four will do now I'm sure maybe Attack on Titan would join them but like I said I haven't played that game yet so I can't say but if you have a Vita, I recommend these titles as far as license-based games go. And that is it, guys. Bye.